In Nairobi, getting stuck in traffic for hours is now common practice. Be it early in the morning, during the day or even at night, burning more fuel at extremely slow speeds is the order of the day. Niko kwa jam na kam, jam na kam, baby te fadali usi, jam na kam, niko a recent study by the World Bank ranked Nairobi as the sixth city with the worst traffic in the world. In July last year, Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko unveiled his election manifesto which was anchored on seven pledges, one of them solving the transport and traffic challenges in Nairobi. In a bid to ease traffic congestion, the government a while back announced the introduction of an intelligent transport system at a cost of 1.4 billion shillings. The system was to incorporate smart traffic lights, critical in the smooth flow of vehicles on major city roads and benchmarked on traffic flow in the United Kingdom. The modern lights would come in handy with cameras, microchips and speakers to monitor and control vehicles without assistance of traffic police and marshals. Under the plan, cameras at road junctions were to capture oncoming traffic through digital and number plates embedded with microchips and fed the same into an integrated traffic management center in real time. The multi-billion shilling project targeted 400 intersections within Nairobi, but priority was given to 100 of them. By early this year, the system was to go live on Gong Road, Kileleshwa, Yaya Center and Riverside Drive intersections. And shortly thereafter, junctions in industrial area and parklands would follow. But months down the line, the traffic situation appears the same, if not worse. A spot check by Citizen TV reveals functioning lights along Gong Road and specifically at the city mortuary roundabout and the prestige plaza junction the lights according to a section of motorists function well during the day but at night they deactivate or get deactivated despite thousands of man hours still being lost on the gridlocked road motorists prefer the lights to traffic police officers yeah without control to be chaotic mm -hmm. yeah so okay. i think they make sense to deliver this idea yeah. I, I can't say much, but let it be there. Traffic lights, definitely. Uh -huh. Yeah, less policemen on the road for me. A drive down to Kileleshwa reveals a road network decorated with these brand spanking new traffic lights. No doubt a good treat to the eye, but the sad reality is that these active lights are not functional. Soon after the installation of this modern traffic control system a few months ago, Kileleshwa and its environs experienced the worst traffic nightmare. A situation that led to the immediate and somewhat inevitable switch off of the so-called intelligent traffic light system. And ever since traffic continues to be monitored and controlled by police officers, the only thing left of the over a billion shilling infrastructure is the ever irritating beeping sound. Efforts to get a comment from all relevant authorities and implementing agencies including the Kenya Urban Roads Authority, NTSA and the county government proved futile. This situation now has many people asking whether the intelligent transport system was really intended to control traffic or was it just another money minting scheme from the public office. Patrick, a Gunza citizen, weekend.